The Apple Vision Pro, which made its debut in June 2023, is all about something called spatial computing. Basically, it's like magic for your digital world. Imagine your apps aren't stuck on a screen, but float around you in real life. You could have your calendar floating next to your desk, or your to-do list hanging in the air above your kitchen counter. It's a bit like turning your room into a sci-fi movie set. And yes, it does sound like something out of science fiction, but Apple is trying to make it real. With this tech, you can control stuff using your eyes, hands, and voice, making it feel like you're in a futuristic movie where your computer listens to your every command. Using the Vision Pro is super cool because you can basically talk to your computer. You use your eyes to look at things, your hands to wave around, and your voice to give commands. It's like having a magical computer that responds to everything you do. But here's the catch. Is this stuff actually useful in our everyday lives? Imagine walking around, waving your hands, and talking to your computer in public. Is that something we'd really want to do? Or is it more of a fun idea that's tricky to pull off in reality? That's the big question with the Vision Pro. It's exciting, but is it practical for us regular folks? The Vision Pro looks pretty slick, but here's the thing. Will it be comfy for everyone to wear? What if you wear glasses or have a face shape that's a bit different? That's something we need to consider. And then there's this fancy thing called Vision OS, which is like the brain of Vision Pro. It's what makes everything work. But the big question is, will it be easy for regular folks to figure out? We don't want to spend hours trying to understand it, right? So while the Vision Pro seems exciting, we've got to make sure it's comfy and user-friendly for everyone no matter their glasses or face shape. Apple's got a good reputation for keeping our stuff private. And they've brought that to the Vision Pro 2. They've got this thing called Optic ID, which sounds cool. It uses your eye's unique pattern to make sure you are the only one who can use the headset. But here's the kicker. Is it completely foolproof? Well, we can't say for sure. We've seen other fancy security stuff before, and sometimes it's not as perfect as we'd like it to be. So while it's exciting to have your iris as a super secure key, we'll have to wait and see how it holds up in the real world. Spatial computing is like the big deal with Vision Pro. It's all about bringing your digital stuff into your real world. Imagine having your apps just hanging around in your room like your calendar floating next to your desk, and it can turn any boring old room into a cool personal movie theater. Sounds awesome, right? But here's the question. Do we really need this? Or is it just a fancy trick to show off? It's like having a super cool gadget, but we've gotta ask if it's actually going to make our lives better. So while the idea of spatial computing is exciting, we've got to figure out if it's more than just a fun gimmick. The Vision Pro is kind of like a mix of virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. With VR, you're completely in a made-up digital world, like a video game. But with AR, you see digital stuff overlaid on the real world, like those cool filters on your phone. Now, the Vision Pro does both. You can dive into a virtual world, but still see and touch the real stuff around you. It's like a new way of being immersed in tech. But here's the thing. Is this what we'll all be using in the future? Will everything be a mix of VR and AR? It's a big question in the world of cool tech, and we'll have to wait and see if it becomes the next big thing. The Vision Pro has some serious standout features. It plays super nice with all your other Apple gadgets, like your iPhone and Mac. 
Plus, it's got some seriously advanced tech inside, including a 3D camera that can capture cool 3D pics and videos. But here's the big question. Are these fancy features worth the big bucks you spend on it? It's like deciding if you should buy a high-end gaming console when you're not a hardcore gamer. Sure, it's cool, but do you really need all that power? So while the Vision Pro has some seriously impressive stuff going for it, you've got to decide if these features are worth the investment, especially when there are more affordable options out there. So Apple's not alone in the augmented reality AR race. Facebook's diving in too. This move by Apple got investors all excited and their stock went up. But the big question is, is AR really the future in this new tech-driven world? Imagine AR as the cool new thing everyone's talking about. It's like the new flavor of ice cream. And Apple and Facebook both want theirs to be the ones to make it. They know that in this fresh, tech-heavy world, AR could be the next big deal. But you see, sometimes things get hyped up and they don't always turn out to be as big as they seem. It's like when a new movie gets a ton of buzz, but ends up being just okay. So while AR is exciting right now, we'll have to wait and see if it's really the future of our tech-driven world. Let's be real here. The Vision Pro isn't cheap. It's got a pretty hefty price tag, and that could make your wallet cry. And there's another thing to think about. Wearing this fancy headset in public. Picture yourself walking down the street, waving your hands and talking to thin air. It's not the most inconspicuous look, right? Now, here's the big concern. It could make our tech addiction even worse. The more we dive into our digital world, the less we might connect with the real one. It's like spending too much time in a video game. You might forget what fresh air feels like. So with the high cost, the awkwardness in public, and the risk of getting too hooked on tech, we've got to wonder, is the Vision Pro really worth it for everyday folks? That's the million dollar question. Here's the deal. Some folks are super excited about the Vision Pro. They're like, this is the future of how we'll use computers. They see it as a game changer, like going from a flip phone to a smartphone. But then there are the skeptics. They're the ones saying, okay, uh, hold on. Is this just a fancy, expensive toy? They worry it might be cool, but not all that practical for regular folks. So question is, where do you stand? Do you think it's the next big thing in computing? Or is it more like a high-tech toy for a few lucky people? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed, please make sure you like this video. If you want to stay in the loop with the latest news, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And until next time, stay curious, my friends.